Hi, so I'm going to be redoing weekly video four. So I'm first going to be going over if there is the first question, which is if there's a mutation exon one and yeah. So if there's a mutation exon one. So exon one is our signal sequence. And if there's a mutation, it can't direct proteins where to go. So this whole area we'll say is our cytosol. So let me just explain, this is normally what will happen, this is what will happen if there is a mutation. So this is our cytosol, let me drop my marker. So this is a cytosol, and have a ribosome, and then we have SRP, so the same, so SRP that is going to here. So, in order for the SRP, it has to bind over here to our receptor. So, here is our receptor. SRP is going to go from the cytosol into the ER, bind to our receptor here, and um, it's going to become the SRP receptor, SRP receptor. So we'll go into the ER. So like the whole process is like, it's going to go from the ER to the Golgi, to the plasma membrane and then exocytosis, exocytosis, um, through transport vesicles, um, and not the plasma membrane, the cellular membrane. So, this is the overview of the normal process. Here is the SRP, sorry, so the SRP is going to bind the SRP receptor and go into the ER um, because it knows that has to bind there because of the signal sequence that it occurs. But if we have a mutation, our receptor, so our signal sequence isn't going to work, basically. So it's not going to be able to tell proteins where to go. So like this um, sequence like can still be transcribed. Basically, um, it's so so our SRP like is still going to be transcribed into a protein. We'll say that's a protein but it's just going to stay in our cytosol because it doesn't know that it has to go to our receptor here. And so our protein's just gonna stay in our cytosol and not bind to our receptor. So, yes. And I'll go over later in the video how this affects a person. Okay, so now I'm going to go over if there is a sorry if there is a mutation in exon 3 so exon 3 is our ligand binding so our ldl ldl exon and it changes the active site if there's a mutation in it so this has to do with uh regulated shoot receptor mediated uh endocytosis so we have our normal on this side, just like before, and our problem area on this side. Let me move you so you can see. So we have our LDLR right here. And so this is in our plasma membrane. That's our plasma membrane. So basically our LDL is going to come, it's gonna be like in our, blood here and it's going to come and bind to the receptor and become LDLR. 
so but if we have our cholesterol and our blood here it's ldl or has to do with um it it can't bind so the ldl can't bind to the receptor right here then it changes the active site and it's not that perfect fit for ldl so it can't bind to the receptor so what's going to happen is it has to do with clathrin. so let me erase this so it can't bind to the receptor so this means that the clathrin coat won't be removed And it means that it can't go into the lysosome. So clathrin pit and coat won't be removed. And then it can't go to lysosome. So it can't go to the lysosome um, because the clathrin can't um, be recepted like it can't uh, the clothrin like is removed so it won't go to the lysosome which means it won't go to the cellular membrane so the clothrin coat won't and pit won't be removed clothrin coat won't be removed and pit can't go to the lysosome and it won't go to the cellular membrane like this process here um would normally the clothrin coat will be removed and the pill will be removed it'll go to the lysosome and then it'll go to the cellular membrane so that's like the process um so that can occur be all because the ldl can't bind to its receptor if there's a mutation so i'll go over in the next part of the video how mutation X and Y and X on three will affect someone's cholesterol levels. All right, so now I'm gonna talk to you about what would happen a person's cholesterol levels would be affected um, for X on one um, mutation and X on three mutation. So they're actually gonna happen like like the same thing is gonna happen um, for both uh, for because they're both having mutations, but I'm just they're just happening for like different reasons. So for exon one, there's mutation in the signal sequence. Um, there's problem with the signal sequence. So the protein can't get into the ER, so it's just in the cytosol. So this, it, what's gonna happen is the cells, um, so the different in the cholesterol of the cell and in a person and like a person's cholesterol levels are different. So what's gonna happen in the cell, the cholesterol levels are gonna be low and the person's cholesterol levels are going to be high. So the cholesterol can't get into the ER um, in this case. So it's going to, the cholesterol levels are going to be low in the cell, which then causes the cholesterol levels for a person to be high because we're just going to have this increase of cholesterol buildup um, and it can't get into the cell and go through its normal processes with starting with going through the ER. So for exon 3 in this cell, it would also go down and in a person, their blood pressure and cholesterol levels would be high because the it can't bind to the LDL, like can't bind to its receptor because there is an active site change and so what happened is it can't get into the plasma membrane. So the cholesterol in the blood is just going to continue to build up and it can't bind here. So the cells, so it can't get in to the plasma membrane, which makes the cell um, cholesterol levels lower and the buildup is causing the cholesterol levels in a person to be higher. So that is that.